Hello, everyone. I'm Chi Fan Zhe, who is the wireless network engineer in Huawei. Today, I'm glad to introduce you our problem C: multi-parameter wireless network optimization based on coverage simulation. Let's first have a look at the background. In the fifth generation, the signal strength is the most important indicator of the network service. It determines the user experience. So, the speed you download some files and the speed you upload files. To guarantee the stable fifth-generation service in urban areas, we need to minimize the interference between cells. Please have a look at the figure in the left. The UE is the user who will receive the signal from antenna one and antenna two. Two signal from different antennas may lead to interference if the strings of them are close. The interference will make the terrible user experience. If you sometimes feel that it is slow to send messages, you may suffer the interference. The finger in the middle shows how we guarantee the signal in an area. We will set many antennas around this area or inside this area. The finger in the right shows the base station with three antennas. And the shape of signals look like that. Let's go back to the problem. We will provide a high-precision coverage simulation model, which can simulate the strength of signals at each grid for each antenna parameter. As the simulation is time-consuming, you are allowed to access the model only a limited number of times. So, please design an algorithm that can find the best antenna parameters. Which maximizes the network performance. Now, let's go to the definition of the problem. First, grids. A grid is three-dimensional. If the grid represents the ground, we will provide you the range. And if it is a building, you will find a table that contains the x, y, and z information. You can use this information to infer the signal in each grid. How we evaluate your algorithm is from grade level. If you can get a good simulation in each grade, you are more likely to get a high score. Then, antenna parameters. We know that the antenna is a unit that is used to send signals to users and receive signal from users. There are totally 56 antennas with different parameters in our task. You will mainly change the tilt, osmosis. And beam pattern of each antenna. These parameters will affect the grades an antenna covers, and the strength of signal a grid receives. Let's imagine: if you set osmos to 45 degree, it may cover grade one, two, and three. If you change it to 60 degree, it may cover grade three, four, and five. You may also find the size of the global searching space is very large, so grid searching algorithm is infeasible. Let's go to the coverage calculation. You can take the coverage as the area that an antenna covers. The area is a combination of many grids. In reality, each grid may receive multiple signals from different antenna, but there is only one serving cell. The cell with the strongest received signal, and the other antennas are the neighboring antennas. The overlapping effect occurs when the gap between the signal of serving antenna and the neighboring antenna is less than six, and the overlapping will lead to interference, finally cause a bad user experience. We may also provide you the formula of this kind of interference, denoted as signal. Now, we are looking at the objectives. There are three objectives: overall weak coverage ratio, overall overlapping ratio, and overall interference ratio. You are expected to find the lowest value of each objective. Each objective is sum of the grid level objective. Let's look at the weak coverage ratio. If a grid's strongest signal is lower than a threshold. It is weakly covered, and the ratio is the number of weakly covered grades over the number of all grades. For overlapping ratio, 
we need to consider the strength value of the serving antenna and the predefined threshold. The overall overlapping ratio is the sum of grids that have overlapping coverage issues. For interference ratio, we consider the signal. If the signal on a grid is lower than the threshold, then we can take this grid as interference. Always remember, you can only find one combination of parameters among 65 antennas. We have also provided you the interaction information. Please have a look at it before you start. Before we finish, we have some suggestions to you. Since you only have 50 rounds of scoring, it will be unlikely to use heuristic algorithm. We would like to you to use some data-driven methods to optimize the problem. For example, try to build the smooth surface of the problem. Then the inference time will be much shorter than calling simulator many times. As I mentioned before, it is impossible to use the grid searching algorithm. Since we have three objectives, you must consider a multi-objective optimization algorithm. Maybe find a public front is a good way to try. Don't forget the building information. It is very useful in this task. In the paper review section, we usually tend to favor some novel solution algorithms. We will be very glad to see if you have used some attention mechanisms or generation models. Good luck everyone!